Hi, Martin Kelly of Quaker Quaker. Uh, there we go. And uh, uh, here at the Ben Lomond Center, the Convergent Friends Weekend has just finished up. And here's Robin Moore, uh, my co-facilitator. Is that what we were, facilitators yes. here? Yeah. And uh, so, Robin, uh, well, thanks for doing this. What, what have you learned? What are, your, what are you coming from this with? Well, I'm coming from this with, I'm kind of in two places at the same time. One is in be, feeling encouraged because mm -hmm. people were really excited and people are talking about uh, how what they learned and what they're going to take home mm -hmm. and how they're going to uh, work how they how they feel encouraged to go home and to talk about the work that they're interested in doing their spiritual right. journeys and sharing that mm -hmm. and I'm at the same time feeling like we could have been here for a lot longer and right. done a lot more right. and really the uh, problem is that we could have done any one of the exercises for longer sure. or we could mm -hmm. have done a lot more things and right. I'm um, a little discombobulated over that. Yeah. Well, I, I would definitely have to say, well, I'll get myself back in the picture here, too. Yeah, I mean, I, I felt, well, I was saying before, I, I felt almost, like, stripped down at times. Like, like, what are we doing? How are we doing this? There was that moment of, like, almost disclarity, almost, mm -hmm. for a while for me, um, which is not good if you're, you know, leading a workshop, you're clearly leading a workshop. But it, it seemed to, like, then pull together this morning somehow. In, in the worship, we just had the extended worship. I just interviewed Charles Martin. He was talking a little bit about the... Uh, Bible reading in the manner of conservative friends, but it was just an extended worship, and mm -hmm. a lot of themes pulled together there. So it hopefully uh, it'll start doing that for, for more people here. I don't know where we are here. There we go. There we go. Um, and I think it was interesting that we had planned, like, uh, sort of very interactive things in the morning yesterday, and then mm -hmm. more of a um, presenting information in the right. afternoon, and then more discussion in the evening. And this morning, we had planned to just have extended worship. We right. had two hours of worship in the morning. And at one point I'm wondering, is that enough for a workshop? Are people expecting us to like do more? Right, here we're, you know, they're, they're coming all this way just to spend some time, you know, yeah. with us sitting in the front there. Right? But in fact, two hours wasn't long enough. Right. Two, at the two hour mark, people were just winding up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that, I, I always experience that in extended worship, right. which we do regularly in San Francisco meeting. And it's been really rich there as well. Right. Uh, but I think it occurs to me that the point was that th this morning, mm -hmm. the Holy Spirit was leading the workshop. Right. And we didn't feel like we had to do the teaching, mm -hmm. that people were listening to their inner guide, they were hearing their inner Christ, and speaking from that to the rest of us. Right. And that was enough. Right. Well, and last night we had that interesting experience where um, we were doing all the workshops, uh, and we are going through our agenda. And then, like, a moment came, and a few things happened, and... And we think, I think, I felt the presence. Like, yeah. we finally hit that worship spot, but it was dinner time, you know? <laughs> yeah. and, and then, like, we struggled, like, you know, how do we get back into that spirit after dinner? Yeah. But it was kind of this, this, like, here we are, we're right here, and it's like, oh, now we have to go to dinner. And we have to get the children out of the childcare. We have to get the children out of childcare. Childcare child providers are done at this Exactly. Point so that's, that's, you know, just a very logistical problem that way. Yes. Um, but I think it worked. I mean, they gave us some queries that then sort of fed through and that the rest really impacted what we did in the evening. We started with mm -hmm. what were those questions people had at the end of the afternoon and gave people some time to talk more about them right. in mm -hmm. the evening. And I think that mm -hmm. continued to deepen and enrich the workshop. Right. And I guess you actually also want people to go away a little hungry. You want right. them to really like, okay, now what am I going to do with all this? Like, yes. I wish there was more. Well, hey, you know, this is, this is just a workshop here. This is not really what it's about. I mean, it's part of what it's about, but taking it back home and seeing what you're doing. Right. And the... Like the journaling um, exercise at the end of the morning yesterday, or in the middle of the morning mm -hmm. yesterday, we only had a short time, mm -hmm. but the point was to give people a few moments to make some notes to themselves, to record where they are at this moment in their spiritual right. journey, and the idea is that you have the rest of your life to continue right. writing what is your testimony about um, what does it mean to live a plain life in the 21st century. Right. We don't and have I think, to do that all today. Yeah, and some of it seemed like one of the things, like what are practices that we can start getting into to, to deepen our, our spirituality? And that seemed to, I, that's something I think we wanted that, to sort of bring up, but I think it really did start coming up. It did. And, uh, you know, just sort of touch the surface of that a little mm -hmm. bit. Um, well, we'll be doing more about that, I think. I think there will Various be more. Various blogs and things, yes. And people and workshops. were just asking me, so what? when are we going to, how are we going to do this again? Right. People who live in the you know Northern California in mm -hmm. my quarterly meeting here, right. and we're going to be able to continue this conversation, mm -hmm. not just at some special workshop retreat in the woods, right. but 
in our ongoing lives as sure. friends in the same quarter. Yeah, I, and I've been trying to struggle like, well, gee, what do I do at home? Like, I have to do some stuff here, too. So there's a lot for me to bring home, too. There is. And that there way. is. And the fact that I think one of the gifts of technology is that we can continue this conversation. Mm -hmm. We don't have to be all traveling across the country mm -hmm. to have to continue the conversation. Right. Mm -hmm. But we can continue to have it in our local spaces and mm -hmm. as well um, over the Internet. Oh, okay. Well, that's a good way to wrap up. And, uh, of course, the Internet is uh, the home of the Internet is QuakerQuaker.org. So, uh, <laughs> and many other places. So uh, thanks for tuning in. And uh, we'll hear more, I'm sure, from Robin in the future.